now that the weather is perfect for grilling, it's time to learn how to cook more than just burgers and steaks. And you can also get your veggies done on the grill and have a perfect meal. Here with some great grilling tips is uh, Chef Scott Gotchlich from uh, the restaurants in the second floor and also how do you say that? Bijou. Bijou. I yeah. had a feeling it was something it's special. Fun to say. <laughs> <laughs> you have got some gorgeous veggies here today, and Thanks. you're going to show us a good little marinade and, and how to get these yeah, veggies on the grill. It's really easy to make. Um, you can use this for meats and also vegetables, and I'm going to show you vegetables because too often we talk about grilled meats and yes. fish and, and all this stuff. Awesome. Well, what uh, do you have over so here? So basically, the marinade consists of a few things. You have Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. You have red wine. Mm -hmm. You have um, brown sugar. We have soy sauce. We also have some balsamic vinegar and some thyme and some oil. That's it. Nice. That's all that's going to go in the marinade. So if you want to, uh -huh. you can take all of these sure. and just pour it in here and mix Perfect. it up. All right. What I do, which is really easy to do. A little red. A real, can I do this? Yeah, pour it all in. Oh, every, everything. Red, a lot of yeah. red wine. All, everything that's in these containers. Okay. Go ahead. So basically, we're taking um, these vegetables and I put them in a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. Easy cleanup. Real easy yeah, to do. Love Almost that. like shake and bake. You can love throw that. it in your refrigerator for... You know, at least four hours, you can do it overnight. You can do it in the morning up or whenever. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing meats, you're going to want to marinate steaks for, you know, ah. overnight for sure. And, uh, and and other things a little bit less. Um, okay. It doesn't matter what kind of red wine you use. You can use a Cabernet, which I use today. You can use Pinot if you're going for a little bit lighter. And it doesn't have to be expensive. No, no, this can be leftover wine. It, it's a marinade. So what I did was I, I brought some vegetables. I brought uh, spring onions, I brought radicchio, and I also brought some asparagus. And you so, can get so many beautiful uh, fresh veggies right now yeah. at the farmer's markets. Yeah, just to show you how... A little how, time? Yeah, to all, the, all the time can go in there for your marinade. Okay. And that's how easy the marinade is to make. That is easy, just a few so, ingredients. Okay, we'll just pretend that I did a good job here. The okay. last thing we're going to do is take all our vegetables. I shouldn't have moved this. I'm sorry. Here, we'll switch. <laughs> okay. All the vegetables in the bag. Uh-huh. And you can pour your marinade in here. All righty. Oh my gosh, it smells beautiful. That's yeah. it. I'm all about that little easy yeah. cleanup. Got That's it. how easy it is. I'll go ahead and put that in the fridge. All right. Like I would. Just like you would at home. Right. And you can see what it looks like mm -hmm. after you've let it marinate for a period of time. Those veggies just soak that right. right up, right? So we have the the grilled vegetables going here, mm -hmm. but I can show you what the um, the vegetables look like and taste like after they've been on the grill. And I just have to say, this is the greatest grill ever for indoor. That's yeah, pretty neat. It's yeah, so no, cool. This it, is a Cousinart. And what I like about it is, I'm not selling this thing, but I just want one. You, it lays flat, or you can just fold it in half and make like paninis or burgers or whatever. Anyway, really cool little gadget to have yeah, in the it's house. Great. It's absolutely great. So here we have the vegetables after they've been grilled off. Mm -hmm. The soy sauce, the brown sugar, the balsamic and the red wine make Beautiful. this wonderful flavor. You don't have to put salt on it. You don't have to put any pepper. You just do it as is and take it off. Just soak it's right up. It's that simple. I'm going to try Th that. Things to remember when you're grilling, you want a hot grill. Mm -hmm. You want a little bit of oil to coat your vegetables and, and whatnot so that it won't stick. <laughs> and uh, have fun. I laugh because one time I put something on the grill on television and the grill was brand new and it wasn't seasoned. And I had a complete catastrophe. Pizza was stuck on the grill on live TV. It's a nightmare I'll never relive. So <laughs> always coat your grill with oil. That's my tip for there the day. You <laughs> Thank you so much, Scott. These look delicious and, and they smell amazing as well. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or even happy hour at the second floor restaurant or Bijou, Bijou, Bijou. are great places to grab top-notch bites. And for more information, log on to the broadcasttv.com. Click on today's links. And coming up Monday, we'll talk with actor Josh Lucas about his latest projects and a contest where you can visit one of his movie sets. And we'll also catch up with the 80s heavy metal band Skid Row and find out how they've reunited themselves. And we'll find out how New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees takes his role as dad very serious. So tune into the broadcast on Monday for this and much more. We'll be back. Good job.